Hello, I'm Liviu Balan, and today I will speak about how to install and use gedit on Linux Mint or Ubuntu Desktop Operating System. So let's get started. First, as you can see here, I'm having uh, LibreOffice opened uh, with uh, a text file on it. Uh, this is because I don't want to alter the normal behavior or gedit that I will show you during this tutorial. If you want to do the same thing, opening this text file with uh, LibreOffice Writer, you can do the following steps. Uh, go to the um, file that you want to open, right click and open with LibreOffice Writer. As you can see here on my desktop, I'm having three uh, text sample files that I will use during this tutorial. Okay, so about uh, gedit, what I want you to know is that uh, text editor or gedit is the default graphical user interface text editor in Ubuntu desktop or Linux Mint operating system. Uh, so if you're using Linux Mint or Ubuntu desktop, you will find gedit installed out of the box after you installed uh, the operating system. If you don't have gedit installed on your operating system, for example, if you're using another uh, Linux, uh, Linux distribution, you can install gedit by using sudo apt-get install gedit. As you can see here, I'm having a um, terminal opened on my local operating system. And if I type sudo apt-get install gedit, you will see that no package is installed because it comes by default after installing the operating system. Now, in order to open gedit, uh, you have several options. First option is to press the start menu, then go to accessories and from here select, uh, select text editor. Uh, another option is to press the start menu if you're using Linux Mint and here type gedit and select text editor icon. Uh, also, if you're using Linux Mint or Ubuntu desktop, you can press Alt F2 and here type gedit. As you can see, after I type ged, I can press uh, the tab key in order to autocomplete the word. Press enter and this is gedit. Now, <coughs> if I have uh, a text file that I want to open with gedit, I can do it from the command line. So if I open my terminal and go to my uh, desktop, here I can type gedit and then the name of the file. Let's say gedit file1.txt. After pressing the enter key, I am able to open gedit with uh, the text file that I want. Now, um, if I uh, want to open gedit with uh, more files, let's say file1 uh, and file2.txt, uh, all I have to do is to pass an extra parameter to gedit. And as you can see here, I'm having file1 and file2 open, opened with uh, gedit. Now, um, if you saw, as you saw earlier, gedit uh, remembers the order of the files that uh, you pass to it. So here I, I've passed uh, file1 and file2 and see the tabs that comes in order, file1 and file2.txt. If I switch file2 with file1, uh, gedit is not making any order for you, so the order of the arguments passed to gedit will be used for the tabs file. So file 2 and file 1 because this is the order that I've put it here. 
Now, if I have gedit here and open another tab and type uh, gedit um, file3, for example, uh, file3.txt, sorry, you, as you can see here, gedit is not opening another Mm, is not opening another instance because uh, I'm already have I I've already have uh, an instance of gedit. Uh, you saw earlier here that uh, file three uh, doesn't exist because I don't have the that txt extension. So uh, gedit tries to create a new file. Uh, inside of my desktop directory. Okay, um, if I if I'm trying here to open an already uh, to open an already opened file file to that txt which is the first one. Now, if I press enter, you see that is not created uh, another instance of gedit, but instead. Uh, the current tab became became the file that uh, I've used um, as an as an argument. Um, okay, now if I close gedit here, another option to use gedit is to use um, with uh, uh, a specific line number. So if I go to file one, for example, and here, if I'm du duplicating the content, okay. <coughs> and now if I'm using this syntax here, gedit plus five file minus one dot txt, Uh, sorry, this I have a, an instance instance of uh, gedit already opened. Now, as you can see, line one, two, three, four, five. Uh, gedit is opened uh, with the file one.txt and uh, the current cursor of gedit is put it on the on the fifth line, one, two, three, four, five. So the parameter here, plus n, is uh, one indexed, not zero index, as you expected. Ex expected if you are a programmer. Here, I have uh, two useful links if you want to learn more about gedit. Uh, so this is how you install and uh, use gedit on Linux Mint or Ubuntu desktop operating system. If you want to learn more about gedit, about web technologies, you can check out my uh, tutorials on YouTube and also visit my website livebalan.com. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.